awesome. We have a lot of the basics of the math that we need in our fund me contract. So, all right, so this is great. People can actually send us money and we're going to keep track of them as well, which is fantastic. So the next thing, obviously, that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to be able to withdraw that money out. So now let's go ahead and implement our withdraw function. When we withdraw all the money, we're probably going to want to reset all the mappings back down to zero to show that, hey, we've withdrawn all the money and there's nobody left. To do this, we're going to use something called a for loop. A for loop is a way to loop through a list of something or to do something in a repeated amount of time. If you're familiar with other programming languages, it's the exact same concept. If we wanted to get all the elements in this list, for example, which where one is at the zeroth index, two is at the first index, three is at the second index, and four is at the third index, which I know is a little bit confusing. These are the different, these are the indexes, and these are the elements. We would loop zero through three to get all the elements out of this array. To do this loop, we're going to use the for keyword. We're going to say for, put some parentheses, and in a for loop, we can add a, a couple of things. And by the way, this is a way to do comments inside of a line in Solidity. You do a backslash star, star backslash, and now everything in here is a comment. So in a for loop, you first need to give it the starting index, then you give it the ending index, and then you can give it the step amount. For example, let's say we want to start on the zeroth index. We want to go all the way up to the tenth index, and we want to go by up each time. We would do zero, one, two, three, four, etc. Well, let's say we want to start with the third index. We want to go to the twelfth index, and we want to up by two every single time. Well, we would do three, five, seven, nine, etc. So our starting index is going to be a uint two fifty six, and we'll call it funder index. And we're going to say we're going to start with zero. And we're going to end once the funder index is less than the funders dot length. So I know I said up here it's the ending index, but instead it's a Boolean. Once the funders index is greater than funders dot length, which is how you can get the length of an array, then we're going to end. And then finally, we're going to say every single time we do a loop, we're going to say funders index equals funders index plus one. Now there's a shortcut you can do to do some variable equals itself plus one, and that's just plus plus. This plus plus means every time we go through the loop, just add one, and we actually don't need that here. And then we put these curly braces to say, okay, execute everything inside of this loop here for the duration that we specified here. And this final piece means that every time we run through all the code inside of these brackets, we're going to add one to this funders index. That's how we go from zero to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, et cetera. To access the zeroth element of our funders array, we're going to say funders of funder index. And this is going to return an address since it's an array of addresses. So we'll say address funder equals funders of funder index. And we want to use this to reset our mapping address to amount funded. So we can say address to amount funded at the funder address is now equal to zero. So we're going to reset whatever we added when they funded us down to zero because we're withdrawing all the money out. And additionally, how there's a nice little shorthand like plus plus down here, up here in the fund, another nice little shortcut, whenever you want to add something to whenever you want to add something to something that already exists, instead of doing something equals itself plus the new thing, you can just do plus equals. This means that we're going to set address to amount funded of message.sender equal to itself plus message.value. So let's walk through this for loop a little bit. We're going to start with the zeroth index. We're going to get the funder at the zeroth index in our funder array. We're going to take that address, stick it into our mapping, and reset the amount that they've sent us to zero. Then we're going to do funder plus plus. We're going to check to see that funder plus funder index plus plus is less than funders.length. Obviously, fund zero plus one is going to be one. So we're going to check if one is less than the total amount of funders. And then we're going to get the address of the funder at the first index, reset them to zero, get the address at the second index, reset them to zero, third index, et cetera, et cetera, until we finally reach the index that is equal to or greater than the length. So if we have 10 funders and we reach funder index 10, the for loop will exit and be done.